Three days ago, seismic monitoring stations across Sicily detected something that had never appeared in Etna's data before. Synchronized structural failure is occurring across a 25-kilometer fault zone. The Mediterranean's most dangerous volcano has reached a tipping point that threatens multiple nations. What triggered emergency geological assessments was not an eruption or an earthquake. It was the measurable acceleration of a process that last reached its conclusion 8,000 years ago, when Mount Etna's eastern flank collapsed and generated the largest volcanic tsunami in recorded history. Six billion tons of the southeastern flank are sliding toward deep water in episodic bursts, releasing energy equivalent to major earthquakes. Each event moves the entire mountainside closer to catastrophic failure. The pattern matches geological evidence from ancient disasters with terrifying precision. Computer simulations of that ancient collapse show waves reaching 40 meters high, traveling at 700 kilometers per hour and striking coastlines across the entire Mediterranean basin. Bronze Age settlements were obliterated overnight and entire coastal civilizations vanished from history. But the stakes today dwarf ancient tragedy. The same shorelines that supported thousands now house 130 million people. Cities such as Naples, Palermo, Valletta and Patras are major population centers built without any consideration for volcanic tsunamis and they sit directly in the path of waves that could arrive with virtually no warning. Current monitoring shows the structural failure process, accelerating beyond anything recorded in modern volcanic science. Underwater fractures are propagating faster than the mountain can compensate, and gravitational sliding is overwhelming the volcano's ability to maintain structural integrity. So when governments quietly update tsunami evacuation protocols they have never had to use, and when emergency response systems designed for earthquakes prove completely inadequate for volcanic collapse, exactly how much time does Mediterranean civilization have left? And when six billion tons of mountain finally lose their 8,000 year fight with gravity, will anyone along those coastlines even understand what is hitting them until the sea itself arrives? Mount Etna dominates Sicily like no other geological feature on Earth. Rising 3,357 meters above the Mediterranean, this volcanic colossus represents 500,000 years of accumulated fury, layer upon layer of erupted rock, building a mountain that now weighs more than 500 billion tons. But Etna's true uniqueness is not its size or eruptive power. It is the precarious foundation upon which this behemoth rests. Unlike most volcanoes anchored to solid bedrock, Etna sits atop a Byzantine labyrinth of weak sedimentary layers and ancient Mediterranean seafloor. This unstable basement creates a geological situation found nowhere else on Earth, a massive volcano slowly sliding toward the sea under its own ponderous weight. For decades, volcanologists focused on Etna's surface tantrums while largely ignoring the looming structural catastrophe brewing beneath. The volcano's day-to-day -day behavior followed predictable patterns, summit eruptions, flank lava flows, and minor earthquakes rarely exceeding magnitude 3. Lulled by this regularity, scientists monitored Etna's every belch and twitch, but largely overlooked the subtle signs of structural instability. GPS stations tracked the eastern flank's slow seaward creep at two to four centimeters per year, a seemingly manageable velocity for a volcano the size of Etna. All the while, a far more insidious threat was brewing beneath the waves, where Etna's true structural and tactual integrity was slowly unraveling. Professor John Murray of the Open University reflects on the long-held misconception. We thought we were watching an edifice spreading under its own weight, what we failed to recognize were the early warning signs of catastrophic structural failure. That all changed on December 24, 2018, when a magnitude 4.9 earthquake struck along Etna's southeastern flank. It was not a catastrophic event in itself, but a seismic wake-up call that would reshape our understanding of the volcano's structural fragility. The quake was triggered by a routine magma intrusion, 
the kind Aetna experiences dozens of times per year. When scientists analysed the aftermath, they discovered something unprecedented. The rupture propagated along the Fiendaka Fault, one of the major tectonic structures separating Etna's mobile flank from stable Sicily. For eight terrifying kilometres, the mountain's southeastern slope fractured like a colossal ceramic plate, unleashing more seismic energy than any event in Etna's recorded history. Dr. Elisabetta Giampiccolo, the seismologist who led the post-earthquake investigation, recalls her disbelief at the data. This was not Etna's standard seismic fare. Everything about this event looked more like tectonic deformation than magma-driven volcanic activity. It was our first true glimpse of Etna's massive edifice quite literally tearing itself apart. To understand why Etna's latest seafloor sensors have volcanologists sounding the alarm, we need to rewind the clock 8,000 years to the last time the mountain's eastern flank catastrophically collapsed into the Mediterranean. The geologic scar of that ancient collapse is etched into the Ionian seafloor in a staggering debris field 500 square kilometres in size. Tsunami deposits up to 15 kilometres inland along Sicily's eastern coast mark where mega waves erased entire shorelines. Sediment cores extracted from Malta to Greece show synchronized layers of destruction, all dating back to that single moment when Etna's flank shattered and crashed into the sea. Dr. Maria Teresa Pereschi of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has dedicated her career to reconstructing this forgotten catastrophe. She says, the collapse was instantaneous in geologic time. Over the span of minutes, a staggering six to eight cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, roughly 15 billion tons of material, broke off Etna's eastern slope and slid into the Ionian Sea. Computer models reveal the apocalyptic aftermath. The sudden displacement of so much water generated a mega tsunami that radiated out in all directions. Within 15 minutes, the first 35-meter waves slammed into eastern Sicily, obliterating coastal settlements. 45 minutes after the collapse, 20-meter waves pummeled Calabria and the Aeolian Islands. By hour four, the tsunami had propagated the entire length of the Mediterranean, with waves five to 10 meters high, striking coastal areas from Spain to Turkey. The geologic record tells a chilling story. Bronze Age villages that had stood for centuries were suddenly wiped off the map, their ruins entombed beneath tsunami deposits. Entire cultures vanished, their fates sealed by a single catastrophic event that occurred in mere minutes. In the 8,000 years since, those cultures have been replaced by some of the most densely populated coastlines on Earth. The same locations obliterated by Etna's ancient collapse are now home to over 130 million people across seven countries. But perhaps most disturbing of all, the telltale precursors to Etna's previous mega collapse are beginning to echo in the present. And this time the world is watching it unfold in real time. Since installing its landmark seafloor network in 2016, Dr. Erlaub's team has recorded 11 distinct slow slip events, sudden stepwise movements of Etna's submerged eastern flank that displace the slope by anywhere from two to eight centimeters over the span of days to weeks. These undersea tectonic lurches are completely disconnected from Etna's magmatic activity, and they represent gravitational failure of the flank itself. The frequency and intensity of these slow slip events have steadily increased over the eight year monitoring window, painting an alarming picture of a mountain quite literally falling to pieces. The sudden slip recorded in January 2024 catapulted the crisis to a dangerous new level. The numbers are unlike anything in the recorded data. Four centimeters of lateral flank movement in a mere eight days a displacement rate orders of magnitude faster than the volcano's background creep. 
Strain meters embedded in the seafloor recorded the entire network of fault lines underlying Etna's flank, lighting up like a circuit board, indicating a near simultaneous destabilization of the entire slope at a level unseen in human history. Dr. Hydran Kopp of Geomar, a global expert on marine geodesy and geohazards, puts the severity of this single event in sharp context. We are witnessing a massive, restless mountain essentially floating on a layer of clay, gypsum and ancient fault planes. The latest seafloor data indicates a significant portion of the volcano is accelerating toward the sea at a rate far exceeding its usual pace. This is exactly the type of precursory flank movement we would expect in the lead up to a catastrophic sector collapse. Magnetic resonance imaging of Etna's core reveals a shocking structural instability. The majority of the volcano's eastern slope is underlain by a slippery clay layer serving as a massive detachment fault. This weak basement has allowed the overlying edifice to gradually spread laterally under its own weight, pulling away from the rest of the mountain. Dr. Erlaub's team published their findings with a dire warning. The conditions we're observing are unprecedented in Etna's recorded history, but strikingly similar to conditions that likely preceded the volcano's ancient sector collapse. We can no longer rule out the possibility that the entire eastern slope could detach in the geologically near future. For those in the potential path of destruction, the geologically near future could mean this century, this decade, or even tomorrow. And unfortunately, the latest modeling of such a catastrophe leaves little room for optimism. In the summer of 2024, an international coalition of volcanologists, marine geologists, and disaster management experts convened in Catania to wargame the unthinkable. Leveraging the latest seafloor data from Dr. Erlaub's team, they modeled the consequences of a sudden sector collapse equal in volume to Etna's previous catastrophic flank failure 8,000 years ago. The results read like a scene from the Book of Revelation. Within 10 to 20 minutes of the collapse, tsunami waves 30 to 50 meters high would annihilate the Ionian coastline of Sicily from Messina to Syracuse. Catania, a bustling city of over 300,000 residents built in the shadow of Etna, would be erased as thoroughly as Pompeii was by Vesuvius. 30 to 45 minutes after the collapse, the mega tsunami would barrel into the Aeolian Islands and the Calabrian coast of mainland Italy, with wave heights still reaching a catastrophic 15 to 25 meters. By the one hour mark, Malta and the Greek Ionian Islands would bear the brunt, with waves 12 to 20 meters high effectively submerging Europe's lowest lying island nation. The loss of life would be virtually instantaneous and impossible to mitigate with such little warning time. Even at its most conservative estimate, the simulation indicates one to two million casualties in the first two hours, with millions more displaced as the tsunami reverberates for days throughout the Mediterranean basin. Shockingly, these simulations may still underestimate the scale of potential destruction. Newer, higher resolution bathymetric data indicate the scar from Etna's ancient collapse may actually span 700 to 800 square kilometers, far larger than previously believed. A flank failure of this magnitude in the present day would trigger a tsunami event, unlike anything in recorded human history, reshaping the geography and societies of Southern Europe, North Africa and the Levant in a matter of hours. But perhaps most disturbing of all is the utter unpreparedness of the authorities sworn to protect the public. Italy maintains a tsunami early warning system but its sensors are calibrated for earthquakes, not flank collapses. Malta, one of the nations most existentially threatened by an Etna mega tsunami, has no strategic plan for a volcano-induced event. The United Nations disaster planning documents for the Mediterranean consistently rank volcanic tsunamis as a low probability phenomenon, despite urgent scientific advice to the contrary. As dire as the latest predictions appear, 
the scientific reality is likely worse. Because Etna is not some isolated case study, it is a harbinger of a devastating new breed of natural hazard that volcanologists are only now beginning to unravel. Hundreds of the planet's volcanic islands and coastal volcanoes host the same lethal combination of structural instability, coastal buildup, and seismic blind spots that make Etna such a ticking time bomb. From the Canary Islands to Hawaii to the Lesser Antilles, massive volcanic flanks perch precariously above the waves, their structural integrity eroding with each passing year. Dr. Erlaub emphasizes the global scope of the threat. Etna is not an outlier, it is a leading indicator. The same destabilizing forces are at work on volcanic slopes worldwide, but we simply lack the monitoring resolution to see the warning signs. My fear is that Etna is merely the first volcano where we have managed to capture its pre-collapse behavior in real time. How many other volcanoes out there are primed for the same catastrophe? Their symptoms invisible to us until the moment the flank lets go. But for the millions living in the shadow of Etna's crumbling eastern flank, such future-focused efforts may already be too late. The inexorable physics of gravity, friction, and time care, little for human preparedness and policy. The numbers tell a tale that can no longer be ignored. A billion ton slab of volcanic rock wrenching itself four centimeters toward the sea in little more than a week. Part of a massive flank floating atop a weak, slippery detachment primed for catastrophic failure. 130 million unsuspecting souls scattered along coastlines that could be erased in half the time it takes to evacuate a school building, all at the mercy of a volcanic time bomb whose ominous ticking has suddenly accelerated into a countdown. If there is any silver lining to be found, it is that for the first time in recorded history, we can see this disaster coming. Cutting edge science has given us a window into a terrifying volcanic fate that our ancestors could only discern in retrospect, long after their societies had been wiped away like sand after a passing wave. The scientists have laid bare the risks in sobering detail. The mechanistic reality of Etna's seaward movements is etched in the seafloor sensor's relentless data stream. The chilling similarities to conditions that preceded the last catastrophic flank failure. The millions of unsuspecting lives perched on shores marked for erasure in the blink of a geologic eye. Now the question is no longer if the world will listen, but whether we will act on this hard-won knowledge in time. Because Etna's restless stirrings carry a message that transcends any one mountain or coastline. On a planet where geology intersects with human frailty, foresight and action are the only buffer between thriving civilizations and forgotten ruins. The story of Etna is not a prophecy of unavoidable doom, but a warning shot across the bow of complacency. A chance to write a different ending to a geologic saga that has already claimed countless lives and cultures lost to time. But that window of opportunity is closing fast. The mountain will not wait for us to prepare. It has already tipped its hand, revealing its deadly endgame in the seafloor sensor's unflinching testimony. Four centimeters, eight days. A whispered warning of a coming catastrophe. A tectonic heads up from a volcano poised to reshape the map of the Mediterranean. The question that will define the fates of millions is startlingly simple. Will we heed this alarm bell from the geologic realm, or will we too become another layer in the sedimentary record, another civilization erased by the sea's fury, because we failed to listen when the earth itself cried out a warning? For the sake of the 130 million souls in the shadow of Etna's next mega tsunami, we must choose to act. Because one day, whether in this decade, this year, or this very hour, the mountain will make that choice for us. The data is unequivocal, the threat immediate. Etna's eastern flank is poised on the precipice of collapse, and 130 million souls now stand in the path of a Mediterranean mega tsunami 8,000 years overdue. The time for talk is over. Subscribe to Earth Attacks and join us in demanding action before the mountain and the waves make the ultimate call on who will inherit the future of Europe and the Mediterranean. 
The geological gun is loaded. The question is, will we choose to act before it fires?